Let's go, Barry. Go, start it. We're on fire. We are on fire. Hey, you want some ice cream? I'm a lizard boy. I'm a lot lizard again. Welcome hoarders, they're going to be playing some more Gran Turismo Sport. And this episode we're going to be um, continuing the uh, Vision Gran Turismo series. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Um, hopefully, this should be the last one. Three races to do, they're all shorter than the last ones that we had. This time I went with the Dodge Tomahawk. Um, mostly because I wanted to get a Dodge in here and I... I don't get why you can't use the older Tomahawk for some reason. You can only use the newer one. Um, and I would have used the older one if I could have because I already owned it. So I wouldn't have had to spend that extra nice million dollars because now I'm like six million away from getting the car that I wanted. Um, but that's okay. Hopefully this is going to be... A good car to drive because it I have the transmission set all the way down oh my god okay we're not gonna have trouble with this race okay we might due to the fact that I just spun out this might be one of the what on earth this is gonna be different I've never driven this before, and not one that can go this quickly. Okay, I think I might, if I have, if I continue to have issues, um, I might have to change some stuff, because if I even think about touching the gas on these turns, I slide. But, I mean, on the straight stretches, this thing's going to be an absolute killer. Like, that takes nothing to pass people. And it sticks on the road pretty good, but I, I'm i not used to it enough to uh, say if it's good or not. I'm too f focused on all of these things on the car spinning. Looks like a goddamn porcupine. Okay, it is very easy to spin this out. Okay, we're on our last lap. I have yet to make a lap without wrecking. Um, hope that'd be awesome if I could do that for the last lap. But I highly, highly doubt it. I mean, I could go extremely slow and just not wreck. This race is going by pretty quick. Um, this car is actually fast enough that when I get near... The other cars, they get blue flagged. Um, meaning that there's faster cars behind them, so get out of the way. And that's just nutty because they're all in the same category. They're all Vision Gran Turismo. And this thing's an absolute fucking hog. Will I actually make this lap without wrecking? I hope. Now, if I'm going to wreck, it's going to be on this turn right here. There's something about that turn that gets you every time. I didn't hit anything, so I don't consider that wrecking. I didn't hit anything, and I didn't go off the road. Oh, that's the turn that I could have gone really fast. Ooh. Okay, I went off the road. I didn't hit anything though. And we won. That this car is a handful. It's it's dulled down as much as it possibly can be. And I'm a lap ahead of everyone in this race. So no, I'm not gonna sit there and wait to see their times. If you I don't know what I'm gonna do for the other two races because these Maybe it was just that track. I really don't know that track that well. So that's also an, like, an adding factor to that. Um, but I'm using the same car for the rest of these races. I just hope that the rest of them aren't 
as awkward to drive on. Okay, here we go. I think I kind of know this one. I think I've been on this one maybe three or four times. I still don't know it all that well. So we will see. I, I think I'm going to do pretty terrible. But at least this one, seven laps. Lost it around the first turn. Problem is I can't judge how sharp these turns are. That turn there is going to be a problem this entire race. I can guarantee it. Because it, it's too sharp to be able to make the turn going fast. And you need to be able to go around that turn fast with this car. Once this thing steps in the up, I feel like this car is so OP. It really is. And this turn sharp too. I remember this one. But we did a nice, nice little power slide around there. You fucker, you would get right on the other side of the road too. You're like, hey, he's gonna switch lanes. Maybe it's this one. There's one with a bridge. I don't know. We're going around those turns pretty good. I'm okay with that. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, buddy. Let's see. I bet we could break three, 310. Maybe. Maybe. No, we can't. Because the 311's our minimum. Or our maximum. Um, if there's a draft. So it's usually 10, 15 below that. Sometimes 20. That guy's out of the race. I did not... That, there was nothing illegal about that race move. Okay, we're on our last lap. Um, I've still been driving like shit. It's kind of upsetting that I have a car that... I don't know. I think it's something... The biggest issue is that right there. Has oversteer, and then when you, when you try to fix it... Oh, that was a good stutter. When you try to fix it... It's, you can't counter steer. Like you can't fix whatever mistake it was because then you you have even less grip at that time. Um, you can get lucky every once in a while and drift it, but you, it's pretty rare to get it and to do it right. Okay, final straight. That was also another quick race. Um, have one more to go, so hopefully this last one will be quick, too. Okay, I just thought of something. I'm going to go back to the transmission, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this up. It was at 400 and something, so let's put it back up to there. And here's my thinking. With the regular gas-powered engines, if you turn it up, the higher the top speed the slower the acceleration which i think is going to help us um but we're going to be able to go ungodly fast i've never gone okay wait 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 i've never gone faster than this before <gasps> oh wow the brakes are good i'm surprised the brakes don't shove you out the damn windshield that first turn i don't think rain's going to help us much in here I know the straight stretches, though. Straight stretch is going to be a killer. I don't know how I'm going to be able to turn, though. Jesus Christ. This thing goes too quick. Like, I never thought I'd be in a car that I'm like, this is actually too fast. Like, you... <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm on, like, a horse, but I'm afraid to let it go as fast as it wants to go. I, I'm like holding it back so much. I thought I cleared him. Clearly I did not. Jesus. Six laps around this. Here comes the fun part. Let's see if we can break 400. I don't think we're going to be able to because it's only set for 404. 
definitely gonna break 350. That's that's definitely gonna happen. This is like getting scary quick. Maybe it won't hit 350. I don't know. We didn't get to 350. We're in the 330s. Oh, I just drifted like that whole turn with my traction control set to four, which is pretty fucking high. <laughs> Nothing like drifting in a supercar that is set up to not be able to do that pretty much. Almost perfected that turn. We're doing better. Other people are still getting blue flagged. Um, the rain really, I mean, it affects it mostly on that one turn back there, but that's just about it. Um, I've been doing pretty good other than, you know, once I start actually talking again. I don't get that. That's so frustrating. Because, like, I'm a decent driver until I start talking. Maybe it's it's got to be, like, just the focus going somewhere else. Because I didn't hit any walls. Fuck. I didn't hit any walls for those other five laps. Like, after uh, I stopped talking on the first lap. I didn't hit any walls. I still messed up around that one turn where you lose grip. But the second I start talking, I start fucking up a lot. Um, we should have definitely... Uh, how yeah, we put 87 miles on this car today. So we definitely got a daily reward car, but it's probably going to be something garbage. I can almost guarantee it. It would be awesome if I got the uh, Daytona. If I got the Shelby Daytona... I wouldn't even have to save up money anymore. Okay, we got that entire series finally completed. So, I'm definitely happy about that because I'm not a fan of Vision Gran Turismo cars. The next cup, or the next race series, is the Lamborghini um, Cup. I don't know, is there a Miura in this game? Yes, there is. That's what I want to use in one of these races. I want to use the Miura at some point. I already used the Countach before. I think I used the Diablo before. I don't know about the Hurricane. I've used that before. Oh, there's two versions of the Hurricane. Three versions of the Hurricane. Okay. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see because there's, what, seven, nine races Nine of them. Cool. So we're going to do them by threes, I assume. Um, those are kind of small races. Those are also kind of small. And then, yeah, we can do those in threes. So I'm going to have to end up picking three cars. I'm going to tell you right now, the Miura is going to be one of them. I might use the Countach again. I don't... Actually, you know what? That... The one I own is the Anniversary Edition, so it's a newer one made to look like the old one. I might just go buy the 1974 version and make it legit. So these two I'm going to use at some point in this series. And then I'll probably end up using one that I already own. Maybe I'll get the Aventador. But I'll probably end up using one that looks more like a, just a regular street car. But let's see what we won for our daily reward car. The Daytona's here. If I get this, I'm going to shit myself. Nope. Fuck! Dude, that was so close. If I would have got that, that would have been the craziest shit ever because I suggested it a minute ago. You never even see that car on the stage. My heart sank, though, and I'm not surprised that I didn't get it. That's just how things go. Okay, well, that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos, and don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.